Okay, that's one. We did the hardest part. Now we have to do the rest. It's not over, chat. I have to do it from both checkpoints now. checkpoint your hands watching me my hands hurt too Yes, we're done. <laughs> My hand hurts. Don't do this to me, Internet. Don't you dare do this. Give me a confirmation that you. Two checkpoints, lots of control jumps, hard pass level. You shall. All right, we're done. Jesus Christ, man. Enjoy your checkpoints. explain this all. If you don't know what Team Shell is, it is just a, basically a collection of shell jump levels. Which I believe was started by Space Pig, since Space Pig likes shell levels so much, he was like, let's just make a bunch of them. So I'm like, okay, I'll make one. So this is what we made. It's called Bomb Shell. It has two checkpoints, three sections. And your first question is probably, why is it called, why is it passive? This is hard as balls. And the answer is because I'm making a harder version in the indefinite future. And that one's going to be pit. So, because of that, I had to call this one passive. If I wasn't going to make a harder version, then yeah, this would be a pit. But since I'm going to make a harder shell jump level without any checkpoints, we have to put this one into passive. So, I apologize if you were looking forward to the soul and later realized that it was going to be too hard for you. Each section isn't too bad, though. The first section is obviously the easiest. Except the ending. The ending kind of sucks. The second section is the hardest, and the third section is just the hardest to understand, but it's not too bad. But yeah, you get checkpoints, so you don't have to do the entire thing start to finish like me. It was awful. It's just actually awful. If the soul didn't have checkpoints, it'd be like one of my hardest souls. Anyways, let me show you the dev door. Dev pipe. Oh look at the look at the flying doggy. Dude, this this dev pipe is so stupid. <laughs> it 
You have to make it all the way to here, and then this pipe's fake. Also, I realized that I was actually supposed to get rid of all this, and I didn't, so oops. It's harder, but it still works. <laughs> Why did it make it a little harder? Also, yes, there are piggies. Don't worry. There are piggies here. So yeah, a lot of shell jumps. Um, standard indicators, the U, Cs, these just tell you where, when to throw something and where to throw it. Um, oh yeah, one, one more thing to say, to know about this level is... Okay, well there's no trolls first of all, but also the fact that there are no shell jumps where you have to time it perfectly and that like, you don't have... You have to throw it off a wall without any ground. All, all the shell jumps in this level are off the ground. So when you throw a shell, it'll already be on the ground. See, it's on the ground. Rather than having to do a shell jump like this, where you, where you have to like time it against the wall. Like this, like this type of shell jump. There's absolutely zero of those in this level. So it does make it a little easier. Also, there's coins. I put coins to help you know where to land. But yeah, that's basically it. No jank. Can you believe it? There's absolutely no jank in this level. So if anyone complains about jank, they they just suck. <laughs> all my other levels can't can't say there's no jank, but this one is all on. This is all execution. Everything is execution based. The bomb part did have some jank, but I had to change it so it wouldn't be jank anymore. So there you go. That's basically the whole. The ending's kind of anticlimactic because I was going to add a troll, but then I was like, nah. So there we go. There's the level. It's actually really fun. This might be one of my favorite levels to make. It's, it's a lot of fun. Just hard. So yeah, add that to add that to Team Shell document. Oh yeah, there's like a site they can go to that has every single Team Shell level. I'll probably post it in the description. So if you're very curious and you want to play at other Team Shell levels, they even have like a rating system. So like, it gives you the code, the who's created by the level name. They even has a clear video if you want it. And then there's difficulty number of clears. I'm very curious as to what difficulty this is going to be given. I would say a 5 out of 10, but I don't know what a 10 out of 10 is. Yeah. All right, well, my hand hurts, so I think it's time for me to not play this game tonight. <laughs>